Welcome to our TrueFlow webinar regarding uh, fortifying email communications and how to securely send documents to your clients. Just to quickly introduce myself, my name is Christy Patton. I am a customer success manager here at TrueFlow. So I oversee a lot of accounts that are currently using True Mobile, and I thought this webinar was important because as I talk to my clients and as we are um, exploring True Mobile and how our clients are using it, uh, the same issue came up with a lot of our clients in how they're securely sending documents to their clients. Um, so that's what we're going to be talking about today. Um, it should be a quick session, uh, probably about 15 minutes. We'll go over a few key points and then I'll open it up for any questions to anyone that has any questions, comments, suggestions, and we will go from there. So I'm going to jump into why we're doing this webinar. As I mentioned before, we work with a lot of our clients in terms of how they're using True Mobile. And one of the things that came up a lot was how do we get our clients um, adopted or how do we get a good adoption rate to True Mobile? And this was a really key piece that we talked about in um, getting adoption up was getting your clients in the habit of logging into the mobile app. It's a secure way for your clients to access their documents. It's 24 seven, they can log in at any time. Um, and it eliminates phone calls for you guys at the brokerage. So it's a win win for everyone. But the real thing that came up was, well, how are we getting our clients to adopt this mobile app and log in? And why would they be logging in? So when we asked the questions to our broker, you know, when a client is calling in for a PIN card, when they're calling in for an e-document, how are you giving them that information? How are you sending it to them? And most of the time, the answer was, well, we're just emailing it to them. And that raised a few red flags for us uh, from those conversations because it's not the most secure way to share a document, especially in insurance where you guys potentially are selling cybersecurity. Emailing a document with sensitive information is not the best way to go about it. Um, you know, there's more and more um, over, you know, since 2020, previous to 2020, but more recently, we've seen an increase in phishing attacks and scams, email interception. So getting your clients in the habit of logging in to a secure device where they can access their documents is going to be a win for everyone. So a couple of things I wanted to just quickly point out. So you know, by sending an email uh, with your client's documents, information, e-documents, PIN cards, whatever it may be, you're putting your client's sensitive information at risk. Um, the security risk of that is exposing sensitive information. If there is information in those emails or in those documents that is sensitive and their email is hacked, you've put your client's information um, in a position to be compromised. So we want to make sure that when we do have those conversations, with our clients that are calling in and asking for those pink cards or those e-documents or any document to be sent to them with sensitive information that we're signing them up for the mobile app or getting them to log into the web portal in a secure way. Uh, there's also limited control or unintended disruption distribution. So once you send that email, you've lost control of who's actually accessing that email. We know a lot of our clients are using Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook. These are not the most secure email companies um, to be receiving emails. There's a lot of phishing attacks that happen in those emails. Um, there's a lack of end-to-end -end encryption in those emails. So it is putting your client's data at risk um, and opening it up to interception or distribution. Um, another point that we wanted to talk about and uh, a benefit of using the mobile app or your clients logging into the web portal is old document confusion. So if your client is in the habit of every year calling you for that pink card or for that e-document or when there's um, a policy change and they haven't received their most recent documents, they're going to get into the habit of calling you. And most of the time clients are just, or sorry, brokers are going to be in the habit of just sending that quick email. It's easy. It takes two seconds for them to do. And they're just going to send that email. So over time, when the client searches your brokerage name, they're going to have a list of documents that they would have to go through to see the information or get those documents. And it could lead to old PIN cards or old e-documents. So having them log into the mobile app 
is going to give them the most up-to-date versions of those documents and of those uh, pink cards. And then the last one is data loss. So again, if you're sending those documents via email, oftentimes when I'm going through my email, I'm very quick to delete, 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 delete. Um, client could accidentally delete the email and then they don't have that document on them when they need to uh, in a situation where maybe they've been pulled over or they need those documents for other reasons. So we'll go a little bit more into the security risks that are associated with uh, email document sharing. So while it is really easy to um, send that client their PIN card or their e-document or any kind of document via email, there's a lot of risks that come with that. So a little bit of what we touched on before, but the unauthorized access. So a lot of these emails have the potential for those emails to be intercepted as you're sending them. So it's giving sensitive information to whoever may be hacking or has, has access, unauthorized access to their account. So we just want to make sure we're getting the client in the habit of securely signing into those documents. And at that point, they can download the document, they can print off the document, but it's them logging into an app or a platform that's secure. Um, data breaches. We probably at your brokerage, you've done a lot of training on phishing and data breaches and all of the risks that come along with those, um, those breaches or attacks. So, you know, hackers can gain access to documents. Once a hacker's gotten into the client's account, you have no control over if the client sets their password to one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, if the hacker guesses, is that they have access to all of their documents. So we want to make sure, again, um, that they're logging into the mobile app. The, the mobile app does have the security to set up um, a secure password. So we do have credentials that the client does have to set for their password to make sure that it is a secure password that are um, less easy for a client to hack into. Uh, phishing attacks. So there is, again, you've probably done a lot of training on phishing recently, but it's that theft of sensitive information. So usually uh, you'll receive some kind of email from Amazon or um, DHL or something about a shipment and there's a link in there. And if your client clicks on any of those links and it opens it up to malware or any kind of bug that's going to be um, opening up to hackers, then again, the client now has access to sensitive information or sorry, the, the um, client's information has been opened up. Uh, loss of conf confidentiality. So emails, once you've sent that email, they can be forwarded to whoever. Um, so it's not just the client that may have access to it. Emails can be forwarded if there are any hackers, if the hacker has access to it. So once you, um, you know, once you have um, opened it up that way, there is a loss of confidentiality from an email perspective. And then the last one is email typos. There's human error associated with emails. Oftentimes the client will ask for you to send the email. You're in a rush. You quickly type in that email address and there's a typo. You've now sent information or sensitive information to the wrong person. The other one that's associated with a human error would be um, similar names. So if you're looking up a client in the system as John Smith and you have six John Smiths, you have the potential that you could send the wrong document to the wrong person. So we just wanna make sure that we're taking every precaution that we can um, in eliminating sending documents uh, via email to your clients. So how can we deliver, deliver sensitive information safely? There's a couple ways that Truefla can help you. We touched on a few already, um, but what we have with True Mobile, um, there's a few things that are incorporated with your True Mobile account. So the first one is CP360. So that's our communication platform. This allows you to send emails to your client um, securely, and it also ties in with a policy notifier. So the policy notifier actually um, you can set up on with your CSM to trigger emails to your clients in terms of if there's been any change to the policy, if there's a renewal download, if there's a policy change, a new business, a cancellation, anytime those downloads come into our system, we can set up automated emails for you guys to trigger out a notification or an email to the client 
that prompts them to log into a secure environment. So logging into the mobile app or logging into the web portal. So we'll let the client know that there's been a change to their policy or there's been a renewal to that's uh, been downloaded, but they will still have to log in to securely access those documents. It's similar to nowadays, I, you know, if you look at your bank information, it's all done. The bank will send you an email, but you still have to log into the mobile app to actually see that secure your information. They're never going to send you your bank statements or anything that um, has sensitive information in it. It's always going to prompt you to their mobile app or to log in through the website to securely view those documents. So think of it the same way. It's a notification to your clients to let them know that there has been a change or there's a new e-document that they can view, but they still have to securely log in to access those documents. Um, the next step you can take is registering clients for True Mobile. So a lot of our True Mobile users um, are sometimes a little bit, um, or sorry, brokers are a little bit hesitant to on how to register the client. Maybe they're newer, they're not familiar or comfortable about speaking about True Mobile. Your CSMs are here to help you. We're always offering training to help you, your brokers, be confident in speaking about the mobile app, what the benefits are, so that when those clients are calling in asking for PIN cards or asking for e-documents, your brokers can confidently, or you as a broker can confidently speak to why they should be logging into a mobile app, what the benefits of them are in signing up for the mobile app or the web portal are. And then this gives your client access to 24 seven um, documents. They can log in at any time and view them. And again, it's not living in an email environment. And then the last one is not a truthless solution, but it is a way that you can securely send documents is through a secure file transfer. So making sure if there are those sensitive information documents that you do need to send, and maybe the client really doesn't want to sign up for the mobile app, um, making it uh, more secure when you are sending those documents. So as I, I spoke about a little bit, before, um, True Mobile does have the access to securely or for your clients to securely log in and view their e-documents. They can view their PIN cards. It keeps their information protected um, and they'll always have those up-to-date policy information as we talked about before. Sometimes, you know, especially if a client has multiple policies, it's going to get a little bit messy in the emails with all of the documents that they're asking for. True Mobile keeps everything really neat, organized, clean, and it's always going to be the most up-to-date. So how at your brokerage can you keep your client's data safe? A lot of times when I'm speaking to my, my clients, they find it a little bit tedious to have to go in and individually register each client or, um, you know, get the word out about True Mobile. And sometimes they don't know that there's a feature that we have available called Bulk Register. And this is actually a feature where you can upload your entire book of business for personal lines as long as they have an email associated with it. We can take those records from your BMS. So we would just need the policy numbers and the email associated with those policy numbers. And we can automatically or sorry automate um, registration for those clients so we would just up upload those lists and the clients are automatically registered so it's getting the word out about true mobile very easily you don't have to wait you know over time to speak to those clients and ask for them to be registered for the mobile app we can bulk upload your clients um, in one shot. And then you have all the emails in True Mobile. You have the ability to set them up with our next one, which is Policy Notifier. Um, so with the bulk upload, they can log in, obviously, to view their documents. But the other one that your brokerage can set up is called Policy Notifier, which I spoke about a little bit before. So once you have all the emails in the system, we can set up automation throughout the client's policy lifecycle for new business, renewals, uh, policy changes, reissue, reinstatement, cancellation. You can set up triggers so that anytime those uh, transactions download in our system, we can set up a custom template template to send to your, um, your clients, which would be brokerage branded, letting them know that a new document has been downloaded and that they can log in to view those documents. And then the third step is educate your clients about the app and portal safety. So um, app and portal and safety, sorry. So 
we want to make sure, as I said before, that you as a brokerage or you as a broker feel confident in talking about um, about the mobile app and what the benefits are to the client. If the client is calling in and they're asking you for those PIN cards, they're asking for those e-documents or any document, um, we know it's easy for you to email it to them, but it's also really easy to sign them up for the mobile app. You you really just have to verify the client uh, with a few questions, get the email from them, verify the email and verify the account and add that client. The client sets their password and then they have the ability to download the app and log in or they can log into the web portal uh, with the same credentials and view that information. So having the brokers as, um, you know, the first people are the front lines talking about the mobile app and getting your clients comfortable with the uh, mobile app and what it can do is going to be the best way for your clients to start adopting using that tool. And then every time going forward that they need those documents, they're going to remember they have the mobile app and they can log in to view those documents. So, if you're unfamiliar with True Mobile, or maybe you haven't used it in a while, um, there's additional benefits of using True Mobile that's going to help your brokerage. So, on top of securely sending document, or sorry, securely accessing documents, there's other um, benefits to using True Mobile that maybe you don't know, or maybe your clients don't know. So, um, self serve twenty four seven tools. So, if your brokerage was closed and that client needed that document and they weren't able to get a hold of you they would have to wait to the next day to access those documents. If they're already registered and they have the mobile app or they have the web portal, they can log into the tool and self-serve 24 seven. Um, they can also submit claims and submit change requests. So all of these um, self-serve change request claims, they're going to help you eliminate phone calls. And that's the overall goal um, of True Mobile is we want your clients to get into the habit of using a self-serve tool as opposed to calling in every time they need a document or they need to submit a change. We want to get them into the habit of using the tool versus um, calling you guys each time. We know right now brokerages are having a hard time staffing. So the, the more time we give back to your brokers because your clients are using the tool, the better. Uh, we already talked about policy notifier, but it is a really great way to keep your clients engaged with your brand and also engaged with um, their policies. So a lot of times people may get their policy documents and not even know that they're there. Um, but by setting up policy notifier, they would get an email every time that document comes in and then they can log in and look at um, and review those documents and then of course reach out if they do need any changes. Um, there's also the um, communications piece with Trufla that we, your CSMs can work with you in setting up. So you can set up drip campaigns for your clients um, in terms of using policy notifier or also just some additional um, marketing tools. So if you wanted to send out seasonal emails to your clients, you can definitely do so. And we can set up automation through the life cycle of what you're trying to achieve and what your goals are um, with that client journey. Um, and then again, as I mentioned, the overall goal of, of using True Mobile is we want to limit phone calls. I've had, I have a few clients that are, have been using True Mobile for a really long time and they have really great adoption. And the more adoption we see with those clients, the more their phone calls are going down. Because if you have a client that is submitting, you know, a thousand change requests in a month, that's a thousand phone calls that you've saved because the client has just logged in and actually submitted it. The client doesn't have to potentially wait on hold. So we want to make sure that your clients are starting to adopt um, using the tool and getting familiar with it. But one way to get really get them in the habit of that is safe delivery of documents, taking the time to register your clients uh, for True Mobile, educating them on the benefits of True Mobile. Um, and of course, just making sure that it's visible in your email marketing, potentially on your email signatures, maybe on your website, just letting the clients know that you have this tool and what the benefits are. 
So I am, that is all that I have for today. I told you it was just going to be a quick session, but hopefully some tips and tricks or some ideas that you guys have gotten from the session today. I will open it up for any questions. If anybody does have questions regarding True Mobile or regarding um, the process of how they're currently doing uh, email document sharing feel free to just type it out in the chat if you do have anything. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you everyone for joining. I appreciate you taking the time to join this session. As always, um, you all, if, if you are a true mobile client, you do have a client success manager that is happy to help you set up any of the features that I spoke about today, whether that be a bulk registration, whether that be setting a policy notifier, or just reviewing some training with maybe new staff or new brokers on true mobile and how to best use the tool. Uh, if you do have any questions post this webinar, please feel free to contact myself or your CSMs to review and we would be happy happy to get you guys set up. Thank you for joining and have a great day.